Let's go, just turns 18 before the World Cup kicks off. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the Path to Glory promo? Oh, I'll go on then. Well, look no further than MuleFactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Okay, boys, so today we're here with a brand new video and we're back for our weekly challenge video here on Sundays at 12 p.m. If you didn't know that's the day and time we always upload a challenge video, now you do. So, you know, check back weekly for the challenges. Don't tell me what to do. That's enough for that. Today, we are building a World Cup Wonder Kid team. We've seen some absolute worldy Wonder Kids before entering the stage of the World Cup. We've got the likes of Wayne Rooney, Michael Owen. I'm just naming England players because, you know, it's coming home. It's going to be a Christmas miracle. You heard it here first. Christmas miracle is happening this year. England are bringing it home. <laughs> yeah. Please, we just need a win. It's been about 56 years now. Like, just get on with it. Anyways, that's enough of me waffling at the start of this video. Like I always say, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below the next challenge you would like to see. Now, let's get ourselves across the FIFA and let's get building the Wonder Kid team. So just like for every challenge video, the formation, in case you're wondering, for this team is the 4-4-2. 4-4-2 Brexit football is coming home. Also, the max age any of these players are going to be is 23. That is the max age to be classed as a Wonder Kid, realistically. So just to throw that out there in case you're wondering. Kicking it off with a keeper then, it is actually the max age of 23. It is the man, Diogo Costa, one of the most talked about goalkeepers right now. And 23, to be fair, by the way, is very young for a keeper. But Ben Foster was pretty old. I think he was like 38 when he retired. So like 23 is ridiculously young for a keeper. But this guy's literally one of the most talked about keepers in the world right now. I think he just recently signed a new contract to increase his buyout clause because I think Porto are panicking a little bit. Now I'm panicking. If you're wanting to watch a wonder kid keeper, as long as he gets played, this is the guy. Moving on then to the right back at the young age of 21 is the Netherlands man himself, Jeremiah Frimpong. Once again, I think this guy is going to get a move to a different team, whether it be January or the summer. This guy is definitely one of the most talked about fullbacks, I feel like, in world football. Netherlands do obviously have Dumfries, but maybe Van Gaal will go for the youth, but this guy is definitely ones to watch. Not literally a ones to watch card, but he could be in January. You never know. To our first centre back of the team, then we have got our first World Cup card, and it is actually just a base red one. But it is Vardy. This man is 20 years of age, and I'm pretty sure Chelsea are already trying to lock him down. So we saw his transfer move to a big club, and now he's in the World Cup. I think he's pretty solid. I don't really watch the Bundesliga. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you've seen him play. But from what you see everywhere, this guy's a very good, young, talented centre back, and definitely could be one of the main centre backs in the next few years. Moving on to his partner in crime at centre back, he actually has a path to glory card that already lets you know that you need to be watching this guy like this guy is decent it is the man Arujo or Rojo or whatever I don't know how you pronounce his name but the weird thing about this guy is Uruguay and Barcelona have actually agreed that he can't play in the group stages like they don't want to play I think he just had an injury so they've agreed that he can't play the group stages so as long as Uruguay make it past the group stages we get to see him in action but if not then we don't. Cheers, Jeff. But he's still a wonder kid. Nevertheless, he's definitely still a wonder kid for the World Cup. Right, onto the left back. This one's a little bit bait. I can't lie. Like, there's not many left backs to choose from, at least from what I could find. And, and this guy's a little bit established, but still, he's 22 years of age. So he's still a wonder kid. And it is, if you haven't guessed already, the main man, Alfonso Davies. <laughs> this guy's probably easily the most talented under 23 left back in the world. Like, he's got to be classed as a wonder kid. It's his first World Cup, I want to say. I just had to put him in the team. He had to be in this team 100%. First midfielder, we've got our right midfielder. This guy's a young baller. This guy's been all over the shop in his career. In his youth career, he's played at Barcelona Youth and PSG Youth. That tells you enough. That tells you the talent of this guy. He's recently moved away from these teams. He's gone to PSV, but he's got a buyback clause. They're not stupid. They know the talent of this guy. If you didn't know already, it is Xavi Simmons. Obviously, we've got his silver stars. I had to get that card done 100%. Fingers crossed, we get to see him on the pitch. On to the first centre midfielder then. This guy's one of the most talked about young players in world football. The guy's also 19 years of age as well. It is Pedri. I'm just trying to copy his celebration. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, I can't lie. This guy's an absolute baller. Like, this guy's ridiculous. He's got a future stars in the last FIFA. He's in the World Cup. He's definitely going to be playing. I'm excited to see him in the midfield. And now, onto his partner in midfield. I don't know if he's better than him on the same level or worse. I really don't know. I don't really watch Barcelona. But it's Mr. Golden Boy himself. 
Gavi. Nevertheless, though, this guy's a talent for sure. From what I've heard, like I said, I haven't really watched him play. I'm kind of excited in the World Cup to see this guy. He is definitely a ones to watch again. And they're also a perfect link. Both Barcelona, both Spanish. It would have been good if it was FIFA 21, but chemistry's different now. This guy's 18 years of age, one of the youngest players in this team. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what he can do on the biggest stage. Oh, on the left mid, that is England's golden boy. The main man. This guy's an absolute machine. I don't know where he's going to go in the summer, but he's going to go for a lot of money. It's Jude Bellingham. I hope he gets minutes though. Southgate, you better not get negative and not play this guy. I swear, this guy's an absolute ridiculous box-to-box -box midfielder. He has to be playing for England. Now on to the first striker of the team. We've actually got another Spanish Barcelona player. I mean, there's too many. It is the man, Anzu Fati. And obviously, we're rocking his outer position card at striker. What a beautiful card this is. Realistically, at the moment, Spain just have a ridiculous amount of wonder kids that are all getting in the team and all have the talent to do well. And now on to the final player of the team. This guy is literally just turning 18 before the World Cup kicks off. It is the man, Mukoko. Once again, he's a player that I haven't seen a lot of, but I've heard a lot of, definitely. Hopefully he gets a chance in the World Cup. Obviously, Roy's dropping out. Definitely could open the gate for him to have a chance. Who knows? But hopefully we get to see a bit of his talent on the stage. Please, please, please. Please. So there we go. Then we have completed the 11 of Wonder Kids. Obviously, there's a lot of other talents as well that we could have included. The likes of Musiela, Saka, Adeyemi. But that is the starting 11 we've gone for. And what I want you guys to do, though, is let me know in the comments below what Wonder Kid are you most excited to see in the World Cup. And like most challenge videos, we have got a specific challenge for this video. And the aim is to, within three games, score before the 23rd minute. Obviously, 23 being the max age one of these players can be. We've got to try and score before that time. If we don't, we have to discard one of the top three players from this team. All right, let's get into a game and let's see what the Wonder Kids can do. All right, our first opponent is up. Let's have a look at his team. Oh my lordy lord, it's not a bad looking one at all. Three icons and a hero in here. Okay, we've got a tryhard here completely. Oh no, no, stop him. Oh my God, it's one nil to this guy already. No, God, please, no. Anzu, play Mikoko in. Across, come on, this can be the goal, Bellingham. We've done it, nine minutes. We've done it under 23. We've only done the first challenge. Now we need to get the win. No way he's going to get a goal from that. That's ridiculous. How lucky can you be? Don't cry, don't cry. Go on. Yes, he's still got it. Mukoko. Yes. Pedri with the touch. Pedri. Pedri. Can he make dreams happen? Play it on the edge. Bang. Bellingham. Deflection will take it. Let's hold on to this now, please. Oh, no. No, no. How the hell is that happened? I've never seen a goal like that in my life! No, I'm not having this. I'm what not having what? this. What? No, 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 no. Bellingham, play him through. Oh my god. Mukoko, play it back. Anzu, bang! Ha <laughs> ha! We'll take a sweaty goal. It's beautiful. 4 3. Gavi, here we go. The ball's fallen to him. The golden boy himself. Gavi! I'm not going to lie to you. I thought he just missed, but it's gone in. Go, no, bang. Xavi Simmons, come on. Last chance, probably, of the game. What can we do with it? Go on. Trevella! Yes! We in the game with a goal! 6-3! And there we go. That is the game wrapped up. 6-3. We score before the 23rd minute and get the win all in the first game with this team. Like, I actually kind of want to play another game with it, but at the same time, it's always good to go out on a win because we could go into another game and get slapped about 8-0 and then I want to cry. But there we go. That is going to wrap up the challenge video on building the World Cup Wonder Kids team. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below the Wonder Kid that is your favourite in world football right now. And also let me know the next challenge you would like to see as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye